and junk food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today, let's go Chips Ahoy Chips eating. Chips Ahoy. Shall we? First off, I have to mention, look at the size of this pack of Chips Ahoy. We said it <laughs> in the grocery haul, but it's worth repeating. First of all, I didn't even know. This is not the family size, if your eyes are deceiving you. <laughs> this is the party size. Party size. I mean, boy. goodness. Um, this is what a normal thing of Chips Ahoy looks like. Looks like. Yeah. But when you're at Aldi, if you want a name brand, you're going to pay up. Or I think. you got to get a bigger size you, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we are trying today and comparing Chips Ahoy gluten-free. Yes. Now, we did this with Oreos. Yes. And there was absolutely no difference. No difference. And I told John, whenever we can, um, it's not something that we have to cut down on, but I don't... I'm not going to make any medical claims. We don't have to, I almost did, uh, we don't have to cut down on gluten, but I don't think that it's a bad idea to where we can, right? I love gluten. <laughs> I, I love all of it. If, whatever, if you don't, can't eat it, give it to me. So if there's two things of Chips Ahoy and they're the same price and one is gluten free mm -hmm. and one isn't, I would pick the gluten-free one as long as it tastes just like the original. So and we're gonna price, check that and out. size and all that stuff I think is important as well. Yes, um, and make sure you stay to the end of this tasting to find out our favorite recipe with Chips Ahoy. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do a blind tasting. Oh. Would you like to go first? Well, let's open our packages. Let's do it. That one's your package, this one's mine. All right. Um, would you like to go? Don't be looking too much in case there's a difference. <laughs> I'm not either. All right. Would you like to go first or second? Um, I'll go first. Okay. Close those eyeballs. Okay, hold on. Okay. Cookie number one. Okay. Blind taste test. My eyes are glowed. Mm. Cookie number two. Mm, okay. Mm. My cookie is very tasty. It has the iconic Chips Ahoy flavor. Okay. Now oh, this cookie. Oh my. Oh, I can't tell the difference. I think the second one is a gluten free. It isn't? Wow, so I can't tell the difference. So don't say anything. All right. Let's move this stuff around, okay. Yeah, you do whatever you need to do. Okay, all right. All right, there you go. I love Chips Ahoy. They're so good. Uh, especially with milk. But hey, guess what? We don't have any. Can you believe that? If we choose cookies at the grocery store, this is almost always what I choose. That or, what's that one I like? E.L. Fudge. Okay. I'm gonna say the second one was regular. Correct. You got a 50-50 guess. <laughs> there is a slight, and I mean minuscule slight difference in texture to me. And, and you can visually see it though. Like this is the regular cookie. And then this is the gluten-free. The gluten-free is like smoother. The original has like a lot of cragginess in it. They taste no different. No different. No. No different at all. And I don't know because we were at Aldi instead of a regular grocery store where we could have compared, you know, like the regular size to like see if size there's... For both yeah, yeah, we couldn't because we were at Aldi. But if they're side by side and they're the same price, I'm going gluten-free on these. Hmm. 
Mm. All right. You can't tell the difference. They're yeah. Perfectly chips ahoy. Let's see. Let's see. Calories are. Wait, before you look. Okay. How many cookies for 160 calories? Two. Three. Three. Wow. Is it the same? 163 cookies. Okay. Yeah. So you can get two Oreos for 140. Or three Chips Ahoy. 160. Yeah. Which would you choose? Chips Ahoy. Me too. I would. Chips Ahoy. Although, especially without milk. I Oreo is a. I like Chips Ahoy better, but Oreo is a better deal because you actually get four cookies. Oh if you yeah. Eat two of them. Really. Does it, no, one whole cookie is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Put together, not separated. Anyway. Separated uh, their biscuits. Put together, it's a cookie. No. I, I just settled no. age old debate. No, he still, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, fair enough. Let us know in the comments. I don't think we still understand that after all these years. Well, here's the problem. Here is the problem. We get told different things by different people. Well, that's true. <laughs> even, even amongst, uh, you know, similar people, there is no consensus. And sometimes we have learned something um, that we didn't know when we started YouTube. And somebody will comment on a video from like five years ago. And right. they're like, yeah, <laughs> we understand now. <laughs> Right. But we didn't then. But we were idiots then, no. Anyway. Yes, you should try these Chips Ahoy uh, gluten-free. Found everywhere, I assume. I'm going to rate them a 10 because that's what I rate a regular Chips Ahoy cookie. Oh! All right. Well, I'm going to rate them an 8. And that's, I think, what I would give a regular Chips Ahoy cookie. And I'm giving them... So maybe they're a 9. But I'm going to give them an extra point because the more foods we have in the world that are safe to eat for people with food allergies right. and food issues and food preferences and good ones that taste just like the regular Absolutely. thing yeah. so that you don't feel deprived, I'm giving it a ton. That's all we have for today. That's it. Don't forget to come to the pinned comment where we often ask, a, well, not often, we every day ask a question. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's interesting. Uh, we have our other channels where we do other things like go camping yep. with our little cats. We have lots of video games uploaded. We're going to be going back to that soon. Um, we have another channel where we just do random other stuff. So anyways, check all that out in the pinned comment. Now, if you love Chips Ahoy mm -hmm. or are happy to see more gluten-free options like yes. we are yeah. or us or the video or Aldi. How about that? Aldi. Yes. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. That's all we have for today. That's it guys. See you in the next one. Bye. We almost forgot to tell you our favorite recipe with Chips Ahoy. So when we started camping uh, for making s'mores, we started using fudge stripes. And we love that still, you know, the yeah. shortbread and the fudge stripes. But lately we've been on a Chips Ahoy kick. It's good instead of, uh, yeah, for the, the... Instead of the graham cracker, we just put a marshmallow between the yeah, cookies. Either it's so the good. either the fudge stripes or the chips ahoy. Forget the graham crackers. Yeah, I like it better that way. For one, like the Hershey's square that's on there. I think I don't know. It's too much chocolate for me. This is perfect. Well, and it's two things into one. And when you're camping, two you things know, into one. Space is an issue. Anyway, let us know if you've ever tried that. Making s'mores with chips of oil. Now that's all we have. See ya. Peace.